Hi, this is Jeff, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can trim your replay uh, screen recording in the middle. Uh, there was a great question in the articulate forums today by a replay user that said, I've recorded a, a, a piece, and there's a part in the middle I don't want to have. I want to cut it out. Can I do that? Well, the simple answer would be no, because replay only lets you trim from the beginning or the end of a recording. But there's a workaround for that. And uh, let me show you how to do that. Here's a short video I created from a Buffer App, a, a social media tool that I love using. And at around 30 seconds in my video, I'm going to start scrolling the screen, which in retrospect, I don't really want to do. So I'm going to cut that out. Now, how am I going to do that? First thing is, I'm just going to publish the video that I have here, so I'm going to save first. It's always good to do before publishing because sometimes replay tends to crash on me when I do a publish without saving. So I'm going to publish, I'm going to call the video Buffer App. There we go. And I'm going to pause it while publishing. So that was it. Uh, it's published. I'm going to close this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the actual playhead here. Um, and see where it starts. So I'm going to go through that section around here. I'm going to press play. Really cool so I can see and I actually want to go a little bit back, back here. So you can eyeball it, but you can also just press play and pause where you want to where you stop. So I'm going to stop here. Um, and one thing you want to uh, take into account when you're cutting something out, you probably have to do that at a point where you finish talking about that topic and you want to cut it at the point where you're going to cross over into your next topic um, otherwise the audio won't match what, what you're telling it'll be some odd gap so I'm just going to grab my video and I'm just going to pull that back and align it with the player here so that's perfect uh, now what I'm going to do is insert the video I just published which is called buffer up And there it is. And automatically it, it places it right against my page. I'm going to just pull that, move that over a little bit. And what I'm going to do is find the part where this actually continues in this video, because it's the same thing. And I think that's just about here. And I press play, play again. And I'm going to start scrolling any second now. So a little bit back, so because I was just shut up. And then I've got this. So let's have a tweak it. Well, and then if you've got your playhead on a proper game, you can have the inner list, drag it to my playhead, perfect. Then I'm going to move back up against my video. Now, there are two ways I can do this. If I can just match it. Oops. There we go. And as you can see now, they are there's a straight line here. So the video will uh, go over into the second video because these are still two videos without some kind of uh, fade that you get if you actually move it a little bit to the side and where you would get, as you can see there, a crooked line. So I want it to actually be a straight line because I don't want any video transitions here. I grab it again, put it against each other, save my project, and publish my file. And that's it. That's how you cut out a piece in the middle. So you publish your file to create the full video, uh, the original video on your timeline, you trim it back from the end to that part where you want to uh, where you want to cut out the video insert the full-length video that you just published, trim it from the beginning to the part where you want to continue, and just put them together and publish. That's it. Hope you, you like this tip.